Well, today on the show, we've decided to travel all the way to the state capitol. We're here in Jackson, Mississippi, talking to the state insurance commissioner, Mike Cheney. How are you, sir? Doing very well. Welcome to the Department of Insurance from Mississippi. Well, thank you very much. If you would, before we get into some of the questions regarding insurance, tell us exactly what your duties are as uh, the insurance commissioner for the state of Mississippi. Well, as an insurance commissioner, I'm a regulator. I'm also the state fire marshal, which is a, a, a lot of people just don't know that. So uh, we do arson investigations and we do fire prevention. I'm also in charge of the State Fire Academy, which means that we train all of the volunteer firemen in the state and all the professional firefighters. But by statutory law, my job is very, very simple. It is to be certain that consumers are taken care of, but yet allow insurance companies to have rate increases uh, that will not make their profits too high but at least lets them stay in business. So they got to be able to stay around and pay a claim, and we got to take care of all our consumers out there. So that's what we do here. Well, you know, one of the big things uh, you know, people are, are concerned about is what kind of insurance, especially health care insurance, are available to them. So what types of health care marketplaces are available in Mississippi? Well, now I, I want to go back and tell you, on health care, the department has very limited authority on what we can do with health care. The, the authority that we do have is this. We approve the rates and the forms for individuals, and we look at the, all the forms and filings for group insurance. We do not control the rates with groups or with plans, which are not truly bona fide insurance policies. Uh, we do get involved in networks, which we're probably going to talk about uh, since we're talking about health care. So mm -hmm. what we do is that the department tries to maintain a healthy health insurance market for the consumers of the state of Mississippi. And in case consumers wonder, Mississippi is rated one of the top states in the nation for health care. Really? For quality of health care. We're used to being on the bottom know, of the I list know, for a lot of we're always on the stuff. bottom, but we're on the top for good, once. We don't talk good. about that a whole lot. So... Uh, to answer your question very succinctly, uh, the types of markets that you have in Mississippi today are private markets. That means someone like Blue Cross Blue Shield or United Healthcare that sells a private insurance policy, Senta or uh, Magnolia, uh, Metropolitan Life, MetLife, just uh, Humana, all of these, Aetna, they sell private policies. We also have the federal marketplace. Uh, everybody knows what the Affordable Care Act is. A lot of people call it Obamacare. So the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, requires that every state have a insurance exchange for health insurance in operation, and they required this to be done by January 1, 2014. In Mississippi, that marketplace is operated by the federal government. Now, the state of Mississippi does operate a shop exchange, which is a small business health option plan for small businesses in the state and employees. So uh, we do pretty good on trying to take care of the employees and the employers of our state. It's operated by the Mississippi Comprehensive Health Risk Pool Association. That's a mouthful, but we call it MCHRPA. It's part of the old risk plan that we have. They're nonprofit, so they don't make money off the policy. So that's basically how we operate. We've got a operation for employers by the state. The federal government's going to try to come in and take that over, I'm sure. And the federal government operates the exchanges. Well, what is, when is the open enrollment? When, is that, when does that start? Well, the open enrollment for the exchanges normally starts uh, for this year, for 2014, uh, would be uh, November the 15th, 2014, and it will go through February the 15th, 2015. Individuals can also qualify for special enrollments. That's during the year. Right. If a lot of things happen to them, well, let's just say that if they experience certain events like a marriage, they got married, right. they had a birth of a baby, or they adopted a child, and there's some questions about it depends on circumstances. If you move from one state to another where this carrier that you had in one state was not selling in the state of Mississippi, then you might qualify to enroll here in Mississippi. So. That's, that's usually the criteria for what we do. Well, do you have the same networks in the individual marketplaces as you do in the private ones? No, 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 no. That's a, that's a problem with the federal marketplace. Uh, generally speaking, as insurance commissioner, I'm not supposed to get involved with the federal marketplace, but we do have to answer all the questions that come in. That's not a requirement. I do that because I think it's a proper thing to do for my state. Um, some politicians would say I'm crazy for doing it because we had 16,000 calls this year already on health insurance. Mm -hmm. And we're normally able to answer me. You get to the point people begin to understand and we, got a, we have an active program to in educate folks. So um, the deal with networks is this simple. We have two carriers in 2014, Magnolia or Ambetter mm -hmm. and Humana. 
Um, in July of 2013, we found that we had only 44 states cover, 44 counties in the state covered. So we had to go out and recruit someone, and the feds asked me if I would do it, and I said, sure, we helped them out, and uh, we got him out of here. So we got the whole state covered. I will say that the networks were the biggest problem for them, trying to get all the networks signed in and signed up, and doctors to agree to take uh, Ambetter or to take Humana. We had some really significant problems on the Gulf Coast because we've had uh, one of the hospitals there did not even participate in the state health plan. Uh -huh. Now, people like Blue Cross that have been around for a long time in United Healthcare had very, very good, very deep networks. In other words, they you could go to almost any doctor in the state, you would be covered. And what a network does, if you're in a network, you get a lower price. You know uh -huh. what your price are. You you get a, a lower copay. And if you don't like the doctor that's in your network, you choose one that's not in the network, you're going to pay more to go oh, see that course, doctor. Of you course, know, You know how that works. Oh, yes. Oh, so yes. networks are, are, are a key factor for whether or not, why would you buy something if you can't use that product, and they, although it's health insurance, to see the doctor or go to the hospital you want to go. So that's, that's an Achilles heel for a lot of folks. We try to work to make certain that uh, we take care of the consumers in the state, so we've, we've helped improve those networks. And I think that we'll have another carrier for all 82 counties beginning November the 15th. It hadn't been announced yet, but it'll, it'll be announced within the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. We've got just a little over a minute left, so uh, any other oh, closing we, you thoughts? You mean we've been talking that long? <laughs> <laughs> You've been talking now. <laughs> Any other closing thoughts? I know they can get a lot of the information on the website uh, that uh, that's on the screen right now, or they can call uh, that toll-free number. Any, any other closing thoughts that you might have well, regarding I, any of this? I, I, I would say things that you ought to be concerned about. If you're in, if you are looking at health insurance, you ought to consider being healthy. Live a healthy lifestyle. Go see your doctor and get a checkup. The best part is preventive medicine, mm -hmm. and the third thing is stay healthy. Now, uh, my wife, I'm an old man. My wife makes me get up in the morning and we walk. We walk two miles a minute every day. And just doing that three or four days a week makes a very big difference because I do that myself. And you do that, you lose weight, you eat healthy. The other thing that we encourage people to do is that uh, we have initiatives in Mississippi to improve your health. We have free clinics that you can go to. We ask people to try to do that and, and stay healthy. The whole key is to stay healthy. Eat healthy and stay healthy. And of course that uh, keeps uh, your um, insurance payments you know, they don't, you don't have to go use the doctor so often. That's right. But That's uh, anyway, right. well, uh, thank you so much uh, for giving us all this information. Commissioner of Insurance Mike Cheney here. Uh, we are here in Jackson, Tennessee, uh, Tennessee, Jackson, Mississippi. Used to live in Jackson, Tennessee. Jackson, Mississippi at the state capitol. If you want some more information, just call the number on your screen or go to their website and check it out. Good deal.